right, now we're moving on to multiplication, which has a lot of the same aspects as addition, uh, just the numbers get larger inside, so you have to be really good at figuring out, in this case it's base 5, you have to be really good at figuring out how many 5's go into these particular numbers. So you'd start out 4 times 4 is 16, and what you have to prevent yourself from doing is write, don't write a 6 here and carry the 1, because you're in base 5, and so the way to represent 16 is not 1 6, that's the way you'd represent it in base 10. So, the the way you represent 16 in base 5, the easy way to figure this out is, well, you're dealing with 5. How many 5's go into 16? The answer is 3, with 1 left over. So, 16 is represented by 3, 1, base 5. Okay, then you keep going. 4 times 3 is 12, plus the 3 you just carried, makes 15. 15 is how many 5's? Well, it's 3 5's and none left over, right? 15 base 10 would be 3, 0, base 5. 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 3 we carried is 11. How do you represent 11 in base 5? It's 2 5's and 1 left over. Okay, then we move to the 2 and do the multiplication all over again. 2 times 4 is 8. If you're in base 5, that's 1 5 and 3 left over. 2 times 3 is 6, plus the one we just carried is 7, which is 1, 5, and 2 left over. And then 2 times 2 is 4, plus the one we carried is 5, which is 1, 5, and 0 left over. Last thing to do is add. Now, don't get all, the, all this far and then mess up because of the addition. The thing to keep in mind here is that you're still adding in base 5. You're not in base 10, you're still in base 5. So if anything equals 5 or larger, you have to be care, careful how to add it. This one you're not going to have a problem because each column adds up less than 5. But it's just something to watch out for. 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, subscript of 5, and that's your answer. 1, 2, 3. 331. Okay, next one, problem 8 on uh, your sheet says 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2 times 1, 0, 1, base 2. Multiplication in binary is one of the easiest things we can do because you're multiplying by either 1 or 0. And it doesn't matter what base you're in. If you multiply by 1, you get exactly what you multiplied. If you multiply by 0, you get 0. So if I multiply all this stuff by 1, I get 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, right, when I multiply by 1. The next one I'm multiplying by 0, so I get a whole bunch of zeros in that row. And then I'm multiplying by 1 again, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So it comes down to addition and making sure that we add properly in base 2. This is a 1, this is a 1, this is a 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, the way you represent 2 in base 2 is 0, carry the 1, because it's 1, 2 with none left over. And again, I have 2, so I 1, 0, and 2, 1, 0, and 2, 1, 0. So we end up with 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, base 2 is the answer to that multiplication problem. Okay, now we're going to do a problem involving uh, bases larger than 10. This is problem 9 on the worksheet. A345 base 12 times B2 base 12. Uh, the process is still the same as with bases smaller than 10. You just have to watch out for using letters when necessary. Since I'm in base 12, I'll have two extra numerals. I'll have the numeral A for 10 and the numeral B for 11. Uh, so let's begin. 2 times 5 is 10. Now, 10 is smaller than 12, which means I have to use the numeral that represents 10, and that's the letter A. 2 times 4 is 8. No problem. We have an 8 in base 12. 
2 times 3 is 6. That's okay too, just write the 6 because we have a numeral for 6. And then we get 2 times a, which means 2 times 10, which is 20. If I'm in base 12, the way 20 is represented is 1, 8, because 20 is 1, 12, and 8 left over. And then we move to the next digit, the letter b, which we're doing our multiplication now. Okay, so b times 5. This is 11 times 5, which is 55. And then we've got to figure out how many 12s that is and what's left over. So you could be using the calculator at this point. You just, maybe you didn't know that. 11 times 5 is 55. And you want to figure out how to write that in base 12. So you want to divide it by 12. And we get 4 point all this crazy decimal stuff. Okay, so the 4 is what we're going to borrow. And then it's figuring out what the remainder is. Well, if you can do the math in your head, you can figure out it's 7, because you've got four times, um, 4 times 12 is 48, and you were all the way up to 55, so 55 minus 48 is 7. Let's suppose you can't do that in your head. A way you can quickly figure it out is to subtract the whole number in your calculator, so minus 4, you've got this decimal, and then multiply back by 12, and we get our 7. So it's 4, 7. Okay, keep on moving here. We now have 11 times 4, which is 44, plus 4 more is 48. Well, 48 is exactly 4 12s, so we carry the 4 with none left over. 11 times 3 is 33, plus 4 more is 37. So 37 divided by 12 is 3 12s, subtract the 3. Multiply by 12, and we see there's 1 left over. And then this, this last one's a big one here. 11 times 10, 110 plus 3 is 113. So I've got 113, and I want to see what does that equal in base 12. So divide it by 12, I get 9 twelves, and I've got to find out what the remainder is. So subtract the 9, multiply back by 12, we get a remainder of 5. You can test that too. 9 times... 12 plus 5 does in fact equal 113. So it's 9 twelves and 5 left over. And now we need to add in base 12. a plus 0 is a. 8 plus 7 is 15. Well that's 1 12 and 3 left over. 1 plus 6 is 7. 8 plus 1 is 9. 1 plus 5 is 6. And 9, don't forget your subscript of base. 12. 96973A base 12. And then we reach base 16, and this is about as difficult as it can get. Uh, I've got a four digit base 16 number times a three digit base 16 number with lots of letters, and the numbers are going to get really large because we're in base 16. But let's begin. The first one's really easy, right? We're multiplying by 1. So 1 times c is c. 1 times 9 is 9, 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times f is f. And then we're going to need the calculator again. I have f times c. So you've got to be really good at knowing what your letters stand for. f is 15, so 15. c is 12, so I've got 15 times 12, which is 180. I'm in base 16, so I need to know how many 16s that is. Divided by 16, 11. Point two five. Now, 11, recall, since I'm in base 16, I don't want to write 1, 1. I'm going to write B. So I'm carrying the B, and I need to figure out what the remainder is. So subtract off the 11, and multiply this time by 16, because that's what we divided by, remainder 4. So F times C is B4. Now we have F times 9. So 15 times 9 plus the 11 I carried, we have 146. How many 16's is that? So divided by 16, I get 9. So that's what I'm carrying. Carrying the 9, I need to figure out what the remainder is. So get rid of the 9, subtract the 9, and multiply that 0.125 by 16. And we get 2. 15 times 2 is 30, plus the 9 I carried makes 39. 39 divided by 16 is 2 16s, 
We can find out our remainder by subtracting 2 and multiplying back by 16, we get 7. And lastly here we have 15 times 15 plus 2. 227. Changing that to base 16, I divide it by 16, I get 14. Remember, we need a letter for that, that's the letter E. And to find the remainder, I subtract off the 14 and multiply that by 16. It's 3. So E3724. Alright, one more line to go here. E times C. 14 times 12 is 168. I'm in base 16, divide that by 16, I get 10.5. So 10 is A, I'm carrying A, and to find the remainder, I subtract the 10 and multiply by 16, I get 8. Then I have 14 times 9, plus the 10 I just carried, I get 136. Divide that by 16, I get 8.5, so carry the 8, subtract the 8, and multiply by 16 to also get a remainder of 8. Then I have 14 times 2 plus the 8 I just carried, gives me 36. Divide it by 16, I get 2.25, so I'm carrying the 2. To figure out the remainder, subtract the 2 and multiply by 16. I get a remainder of 4, so 2, 4. And the last one here, 14 times 15 plus the 2 I just bar, uh, carried, 212. So dividing that by 16, I get 13.25. The way we re represent 13 is with the letter D. Subtract the 13 and multiply the 0.25 by 16 to get 4. And then I'm going to move that aside. And now we need to add these three rows in base 16. So C plus nothing is C. 9 plus 4 is 13. Don't put a 3 and carry the 1. How do you represent 13 in base 16? It's with the letter D. Then we have 2 plus 2 plus 8, which is 12. That's the letter C. Then we have 15 plus 15, which is 30. That's bigger than 16. So how many times does 16 go into 30? It goes in once with 14 left over, and 14 is the letter E. So we carried our 1. 1 plus 3 plus 4 is 8. 14 plus 4 is 18, which is 1, 16, and 2 more. 1 plus 13 is 14, so E. We put our subscript of 16 at the end, and we have our answer is E28ECDC, base 16.